Quarries are important because they give us geological type of areas. For example, the sea lion and the ptarmigan probably tell us about the place where the people came from in, in Tlawak. They're historical. They tell us about the people. It's historical. It has the language in it that is significant. It has the values in it that is very, very, very important. It has our way of life in it. And so I think that's really, really, really important. It has the song, the music, the art, uh, our names, and everything else that we, we have, our families in it. And that's the major reason our family is, is in our stories. And in our Tlingit, Haida, and Shimshian community, as well as all other cultures in this whole world, we're weavers. We wove with the environment that was around us. I weave with red cedar, yellow cedar, spruce root, grass, maidenhair fern, um, garbage bags. <laughs> Whatever I can do to weave, I weave with. Because that's how I connect my life with our community. The stories that tell, you see us mostly Tlingit Haida's Simchian people have crests. This one is a hummingbird. In our Haida language, I belong to the hummingbird clan. It's called Teets Kittenai. And that's from my Haida side. On the Tlingit side, I'm a freshwater marked sockeye salmon uh, clan the raven side, the hummingbird side is the eagle. Mm, why do you think people in your culture tell stories? These stories were told long ago. It was like an education time. We'd be working all day long and then at night, my old, I have an older brother, I think he's 82. He said when the day was over, all, everyone in the house would have to sit down and there'd be story time. And so these stories were told each night. And there were stories to help us learn how to behave, learn how to respect, and learn how to have fun. People tell stories to tell where they came from, their heritage, and explain their creations. 